What's up there YouTube? Ben here with another quick video for you guys today. Uh, now this is just going to be a quick video showing off uh, how you can make your phone look like iOS 7. Uh, iOS 7, if you guys don't already know, was announced just a few days ago on Monday at WWDC and iOS users are going to get to see a huge UI overhaul for their iOS devices uh, coming this fall. Uh, but is it something that we should actually be jealous or envious about? Uh, no. Every new feature that they added is something that they took from other, or took the ideas from Android, uh, Windows Phone, uh, WebOS, anything of that sort, and put it into their own and made it their own. Uh, so it's definitely nothing revolutionary or anything like that, like how the I how iOS was announced in 2007. Uh, no, they haven't done anything of that sort in a while, but it is still a nice thing for you iOS users, so uh, it's definitely a good thing you guys are finally getting to get those features for yourself. But anyway guys, without any further ado, uh, let's get into the video right now. Alright guys, so here we are back in the video. Uh, so as you can already see, I got my home screen set up in that iOS 7-esque fashion. Uh, so that way guys, uh, the nice thing about Android is if you are someone who likes to set up your home screen uh, however you would like, you're able to do that. So if you want something more personalized like this, you can do that. Or if you do want something, maybe you are a fan of the way iOS 7 looks or iOS looks in general, uh, but you are more of a fan of Android features, like I said, you can do whatever you want with your Android phone pretty much. If you want that iOS look, you can always do that yourself. Uh, that's the nice thing about Android is you do have that option and you don't even have to root or jailbreak or whatever you want to call it to do so. And it's pretty easy to do this guys. The first thing you're going to want to do is you want something like Apex or Nova Launcher. And then you want to go into Apex or Nova Launcher settings. And then you want to go into the desktop. And then you want to change the desktop grid to 5x4. And then after that you want to change the width and height margin uh, to large so that way your apps are closer together like iOS apps are. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is you want to go to dock and you want to change uh, the dock icons to four so therefore you only have four on the dock and normally you have five. And then you also want to change the width margin to large as well so they are closer together. And the next thing you want to do is uh, make sure your dock height is large. And then after that, uh, the only thing you're going to want to do is go to look and feel. And then you want to change the icon size. You want to scroll over to make it 130% so the icons show up larger on your screen. Uh, the next thing you guys are going to want to do is go back into the desktop grid and make sure the show shadow is off so therefore your screen appears to be more flat uh, since iOS is more of a flat device to make it look more sleek and all that kind of stuff. It does take away some of the depth uh, but I'm going to show you something that you can get that added depth that iOS 7 did also uh, show off at WWDC. See. Uh, so the next thing you guys are going to want to do is you want to download the wallpaper that I'll leave a link to in the description and then after that you guys are also going to want to download the icon pack that you're going to use to get to change your icons to make it look like iOS icons and to do that basically you download it you'll hold on an app click edit click on the app icon and then you want to go into uh, gallery apps and then it'll be a Dropbox file, so you want to go into Dropbox and then all of your icons will be right here. And you do have to change them all individually, so it may take about two minutes of your time, uh, but it's not too long. You can do it while you're watching TV or something of that sort. And then guys, that's pretty much it, and you'll have that iOS 7 look or iOS look if you guys are into that type of thing. Uh, but the nice thing is, guys, if you are jealous of that kind of panning 3D image type thing, uh, you can go into the Play Store and you can search for 3D image live wallpaper. It does cost about $1.60 guys, so this is completely optional. You don't have to do this. Open it up. Choose custom image. Go into gallery. Choose your wallpaper. Click OK. And then you want to set wallpaper. 
and then if you go back to this, uh, as you can see, uh, now, hopefully it'll show more. One second, guys. Let me get this into focus more. And then as you can see, it goes with the image just a little bit to give you that kind of a 3D look. Uh, but that is it guys I do want to thank you guys for checking out this video if you want to see more of these type of videos ask me uh, you can also ask for any type of help if you maybe weren't able to figure out something yourself uh, but anyways guys uh, be sure to follow me on Twitter at Black Blizzard. I'll leave all the links for that in the description and also Instagram and Google Plus uh, but anyways guys I want to thank you for checking out my video and I'll talk to you guys later peace